<clears throat> well, hi and good evening and welcome to Growing Shadows, our Ninja Crusade second edition actual play here on the Quiet Gentleman channel, network, Twitch, whatever. So, uh, it's all before, of those things. Yeah, it is technically all those things. So, uh, before we get started, uh, just got a couple of announcements to go over really quick. The uh, Australian charity bundles are still going on Drive Through RPG for the Fight uh, Fire with Games. And uh, I mentioned this because not only are you having the opportunity to take part in a really awesome charity that helps people out, but at the same time, the game that we're playing tonight, Ninja Crusade Second Edition, is available in the Fantasy Core and Settings bundle. And so for you know a fairly limited price, you have the opportunity to get this game and a whole lot of other core games. So it's a great way to be involved and do something cool. All right. Uh, other things really quick. We have uh, merch. So we actually do have a merch store uh, with some things for the game so far. I think you'll probably see some flashcards for the... Uh, at least one. At least one. Just one. Flashcards. Uh, that'll be in the uh, lower left-hand corner, I guess, or right-hand uh, corner. Lower right-hand corner yeah. would be where that is. And you'll be able to see a couple of the designs and the address or the... I put... I made a bit.ly ah. for it. So there's uh, bit.ly slash uh, shadow with some numbers in it. You'll see it when you see it. Awesome. And yeah, I think those are pretty much the majority of our announcements. Oh, uh, one quick correction. Right. We did have one error that got pointed out to us last game, and that is the rivals portion of our game. It is not a negative one uh, penalty to when your rival interacts with you for that skill. It is supposed to be a negative two. So correcting that, and next time we do it, we will fix that problem. Did somebody point that out? Uh, somebody pointed that out. So hmm. yeah, it was you. You pointed. Oh, that was out it? After you <laughs> I didn't know if somebody. I was like, did somebody interact with us after the show? And was yeah, like, you hey. no, yeah. you did. No, yeah, oh, you. Yeah, you looked me. in the book and was like, oh, actually. Yeah. Oh well, that sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strange. I've heard this well, before. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get things rolling here. See y'all in just a second. There's no easy transition on that. No. It's just like it's over when and I say we're it's here. over. So hello and welcome tonight. This is our table. So we're going to go ahead and go around and do some quick introductions. So uh, tell us your name, your character name, and uh, you know maybe what a brief thing about what your inspiration was for your character. So go ahead and we'll start up with you. All right. I'm Steven. Uh, my character is Chetsuo Kawasaki, and I was very inspired by most shonen protagonists when I made him. Um, I'm Justine. I play Ranto Honda and her dog Camu. And I was very inspired to play somebody that gets to have a dog. <laughs> that was the pretty baseline motivation when I saw that they have ninja dogs. So, Hi, I'm Sammy Wagner. Um, my uh, character's name is uh, Takumi Izanagi. Um, and my inspiration kind of fell into a... Um, artsy Hanzo like character from Overwatch. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry, got That's all right. distracted. Um, I'm Guy. I um, just wanted to make a giant nerd. <laughs> you know, you do what you do. Yep. Look at all the yeah. props. You do what you're good yep. at, right? Yeah, that's right. what I do. Um, that's what I do. <laughs> And I am Roxanne Thompson, and I am playing Kyo Fujishida. And um, the inspiration for my character really just... Um, I just wanted to do something I'd never done before. So we're going to see how it goes. Which is... Which is be a character that is better at talking than anything else. Because mm. I usually don't like to talk when I role play. Be the face, be the face. I, yeah, I'm the face. So... Mm. 
Ugh. It's gross. <laughs> but anyway. And um, who are you? I, of course, am John, and I am <laughs> the are you doing here? GM for this game. And what was your inspiration to be GM? <laughs> My inspiration for being the GM is, quite frankly, that the Ninja Crusade 2nd Edition game is a mouthful and is actually a really amazing game. If there's a game out there that I wish, uh, and this is, I mean this as a compliment, if there's a game I wish I had made, it'd probably be this one, to be honest. Wow. Well. That's pretty good. Well, you didn't make it. I didn't make it. Third Eye Games made it. Third guy, a third eye game. Third, third guy, guy games. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do a very light recapping. Uh, so last game, our intrepid group of young ninjas, uh, ninjitos, ninja. No, the ninja. It's, ninja. It's, ninja. It's, yeah, yeah, it's like fish. Let's yeah. not let's not be disrespectful, John. <laughs> okay. Let's just use words. <laughs> so, Doritos. It's like deer. Yeah. But our group of ninja were training in the center of the village of Danketsu at some training grounds, playing a version of dodgeball that ninja trainees play. And, of course, it got interrupted, and you learned a little bit more of the mechanics of how to use your key outside of just operating jutsus. Uh, and it was pretty good for an overall introduction of the mechanics altogether. You also went off to the local hill, the overlook point where teens often go more to make out. Being young ninja, y'all were there just to relax and get away for a bit. And uh, and all be all, after all was done, you found out that you're being called off on a mission. More of a trip, as far as you know. And uh, being called together by your teacher. So that is where we left off last game, is your characters heading down the hill and back to the village. I do have a question for you. At the yes. end of last game, you did award experience, did you not? I did. How many points was that? I, I did awarded, not write it down. Uh, six. So altogether, Four. I went ahead and gave the players six uh, XP, which is a bit more than is usually called for in the game, but at the same time, I do things like that uh, to try and draw in the players a bit more, give a little bit more reward for, especially for a first session. Uh, usually, per session, you're going to end up with closer to three or four. But, like I said, I, I was like, no, I want people to actually also see the experience mechanics, because a lot of, unlike a lot of other RPGs out there, this game, you get your experience and you can spend it. It's not like you level up. So, kind of a neat mechanic, in my opinion. So, and six experience is just enough for uh, one stat point. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, there's other things that you can buy with the experience points, uh, and obviously, eventually, jutsus, but we'll get into all that later. But you all return home, and it is getting late in the day at this point. Uh, your parents all inform you, uh, your parents or guardians, depending on the case, inform you that. The trip is going to be leaving out tomorrow morning. Uh, you will be in the care of both your teachers, uh, Akakage and Ayami. So, the night comes. All right, guys, street lights are turning on. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go home. Do we got? Is he? Try again, Papin. All right, guys. Hello. Yeah, uh, are you on? The mic saying. is the mic just went off. Oh. Oops. We tested all this before. Oh, no, technical difficulties. Check uh mm -hmm. Sorry y'all, sorry. There I hear it now. Try. Hello. There we are. Hey. That's okay. weird. And we're back. Sorry about that. Alright guys, street lights are coming on. That means we all gotta head home. That's right. I <laughs> Look, there's like gas lighters lighting lamps along the street. You're not my dad, it's but... Just, it's just like a, per a, a person just lighting them. Lighting them, yeah. <laughs> That's his job. So, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, uh, Kyo bids farewell. Um, pretty sure Guy probably won the, the game we were playing uh, before we left the hill. Yeah. And uh, vowing to do better next time. Uh, Kyo disappears into the home behind the shops. Yep. Okay. So, the next morning, 
your characters wake up. And this is where we are really going to take off for this game. We're going to discuss travel mechanics. Because uh, this system does very differently when it comes to travel. This is a very lively village at night. Yeah, well, no, this is the next day now. Okay. So it could be Friday. Yep. So, the way travel works in Ninja Crusade 2nd Edition is that each and every one of you are going to take part in a montage. Uh, that's the best way. I like, I like to describe it as that. Where there are going to be events and things that happen along the way from beginning to start. Uh, beginning to end. Yeah, beginning to start. No. That will be a part of the game too. But We're going to get there and we're going to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. So, uh, the way this happens is that there are going to be moments on the journey that are going to be not so much acted out, but you will have the opportunity. Each one of you will have the opportunity to do one test. This test will decide the entire scene. This is not going to be a, you know, one of those things where it's played out over a long period of time. I will explain the situation. You will tell one of you will say, I'm going to take on that challenge and you will have the option to use a set of your skills once to test to see if you overcome that challenge and how things continue and progress for the rest of the journey. So does that make sense so far? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. So this is the first time we're ever doing this and uh, it can get, you know, it's another portion of the game that I think people need to learn, especially for continuing the game because it, travel is a huge part of RPGs. So we're going to go ahead and start off. Uh, the first part of any travel and some of these names are going to sound very familiar because they also were names and words used in your character creation. But the first part of travel is called the village. And this is going to be getting your supplies and preparing the, for the road ahead. Uh, I'm also going to tell you that this only requires a simple success. Uh, so that's one success to progress this portion of the plot. So who would like to be the character that during this part of the montage that it's going to be up to you? For, the, uh, for this one portion. It only requires, like I said, one test to be successful. So, uh, yeah. Who, wa who wants to tell me how they want to gather supplies and prepare for the road ahead? Mm, this sounds like a me thing. It does sound like it a you like, thing. So, it sounds um, like you or guy. Yeah. yeah, for as far as supplies go, I kind of rifle through uh, mom and dad's uh, what we keep in stock anyway and some of our... I mean, we have... Primarily, we're, we're textiles and, and spices, but we have other things as well. And so, how long are we going to be gone? Uh, you are going to be gone uh, at least a week. At least. Okay. Um, knowing knowing the Ninja Academy, my parents have already signed the permission slip and, and hand it to me. They, like, pin it to my shirt as I leave um, to don't make sure I don't it. lose it. Yeah. Um, they give me a coin pouch that uh, I keep with me and tied to my belt. and um, But yeah, I, I load up, say, three sacks of, of common provisions. Um, and uh, so, you know, I'm, the school should do these things, but I, I bring the good stuff. Yeah, because don't, don't forget the cheese puffs. Yeah, <laughs> I have not forgotten the cheese puffs. There's so many cheese puffs. Well, that's that's what Chiefs, your success Chiefs puffs. that you roll like hinges on. This whether is whether or not, or not I get the cheese, cheese puffs. puffs. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I just I gather supplies as I would know that we would need. I'm sure Akakage and uh, Ayami have. We've done something like this before, so. Okay. So I what, what skills what are you going to be using for your test? Um, I suppose. Um, I'm also going to be bringing extra clothes for myself because I like to look good. Because, um, I mean, some of the things you're definitely describing could be knowledge of what to bring okay. or discipline to uh, really control yourself and be, you know, mindful of what you're doing. Um, Survival as well for hitting the road or even travel. I was going to say, can I do knowledge and travel? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just roll that many. Sorry, mm -hmm. we've, we're playing another D10 game and I'm like, do I get a bonus die for this scene? But I don't. Actually, I'll go ahead and give one for description because you did uh, give me a That's good right. description. I said, I, that, I said that they're going to pin my permission slip to my shirt, <laughs> which is totes visual. Um, all right. 
Uh, hmm. And our successes are what? Your Six, successes are... Seven, eight, nine? Mm-hmm. And seven, ten. eight, nine. Mm-hmm. Tens counts as two. So not sixes, though. Sevens, no. eights, and nines. Uh, then that's two. Two successes? Two successes. All right. So you spend your time. You gather things together. You organize the, cor- the cart properly, and you're actually able to say, oh, you know, we can probably just fit a little bit more in if I pack this way. Okay. And so... I will say, as a result for succeeding on this test, Mm -hmm. the next person uh, to perform in this travel montage will get a plus one to their test. Nice. Uh, And I mean uh, plus Plus one one. dice. Dice. Okay. Okay. So your characters all gather up together. Akakage and Ayame also show up. And they're like, they say, everybody says their farewells. A few people in the village uh, come out to watch and wave, which uh, strikes you as a little bit odd, but, you know. Ah, sweet. Cheese puffs. Kyo, you're the man. I try. All right. I also don't know why people are waving and, like, chilling out here. I'm like, this is just a field trip. Yeah, I mean. It's not like we're going off to sea or something. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and my permission <laughs> so, just light a match <laughs> no I just ripped it off my <laughs> I mean the best class in ninja school is heading out on an adventure it's kind of a big deal this is kind of a big deal you're not wrong Yeah, you're absolutely not wrong and so of course Akakage and his usual alright everybody's here let's go and you begin your journey. Now, this includes several nights on the road, several days. Uh, sometimes you're not even on the road. Sometimes it is crossing through forests and traveling through trails, uh, avoiding people or looking for people that are part of the community that know that you are all out here. But so this is going to be, and, and a lot of, uh, I do want to say this, Akakagi and Ayame are basically like, you know, show us what you've learned. This is, we, we will tell you where we're going. We will tell you how to get there. But this is your trip and you need to take charge. And so this is going to be the next test. And that is the usage of supplies as well as traveling the distance uh, safely. So who would like to take this test on? This is going to be a, har- uh, this will actually be a tough test. I have a question. Yes. Do we know where we're going? Uh, they did tell you that you were going into the Triumph province, which is a province of this area to the northwest. Well, do we know okay. the way? Mm, you probably would more than anyone because uh, you've uh, traveled with your family. I read maps <laughs> and travel. But unfortunately, you have already done one test. Okay. So this is going to fall to somebody else. This, You can tell me what it is that you're doing to help you know, with the usage of supplies and this is anybody here. This Anybody can take this test. But once you take one test on a uh, travel montage, essentially, you cannot take another one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, let me give this a try. Yeah. Um, possibly uh, I can use a combination of uh, my analytical logistical skills uh, to know how much we have on stock and maybe my survival ability to kind of gauge how much everyone consumes throughout the uh, uh, on a daily basis to kind of see how much we can spread it uh, around so that way we don't overspend uh, how much we use every single day so that we have enough uh, supplies to last uh, throughout the entire uh, trip with a little bit left over just in case of some um, you know unexpected Things. I, I think Guy is probably the best one for this. All right. So uh, what skills are we going to be looking at then? I'm thinking knowledge and survival. Knowledge and survival work. Uh, go ahead and add one for your description and also and one for me. For yeah. A, uh, and one also, one more <laughs> dice for the previous test. All right. So that's going to be four for knowledge, two for survival, one for description, and then one more for the bonus. The bonus. So. Yes. And how many successes do I need? Uh, you're actually going to need three successes. This is a tough test. Now, you, you can also spend a karma. karma. You want to spend a karma. 
Do you have to spend karma before you roll? Yes. Well, he hasn't. He hasn't looked at the dice. Yeah, he, he very looked notably yet. looked yeah. up, so he doesn't know the result. Because we were asking <laughs> just yeah. as he. Well, no, I, he I, I, I thought he was dropping them. I didn't think he was rolling oh. yet. He was dropping. He uses them into a, dice, a tower. dice tower. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So we can just toast, toss one of those other one. karma dice in there. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's do it. Just, just to be safe. It's, all right. You want to do it? Hold on. Let me go ahead and scoot this down. Um, throw it down, but you're not going to get anything because I haven't even gotten even one success. Yeah, none of oh, those no. were successes. It's oh, all guy. four. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. It's all fours. This is, this is five fours. Uh, two threes, one two, and a one. Yeah, even the karma was like my four. only roll from last uh, game. This can happen. Well. This, this can't happen. I wow. mean, we still do it. We still travel. You know, yeah. it was your failure that on your watch, I ate all the cheese puffs. Oh, no. And now he has a stomach <laughs> She has a tummy egg, and Ranto's mad. I want just to see what these dice are cursed. All right, so there it. The dice aren't cursed. It's right. just, that they just do bad. actually uh, have ten sides to them. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. so you're I not, botched that. You're not rolling oh, d sixes. It's okay. All right. You just didn't see that that Chet took the whole oh. the whole barrel of Chiefs puffs. Yep. I yeah, keep like, on to call them Chiefs puffs. You were actually <laughs> counting it out in your head and paying no attention to the fact that. He was already in it. He was already eating it. He'd already it. taken it. And so, so like, the math was constantly changing while you were doing it. Like, <laughs> like a good ninja, while no one was paying attention, I took it. Like a, like good, a good ninja. ninja. <laughs> the cheese plus are gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you're traveling, uh, maybe it's that you're overwhelmed by the road, spending time away, uh, sleeping on the hard ground occasionally. Or maybe it's just a very hungry ninja that sneaks past my abilities to perceive him. Yeah. <laughs> Could be any of those things. But as a result for this test, all the characters at the table will, for the moment, take on the deprived quality. Oh, that sounds nice. So to explain what that is, that this is a condition. that Conditions are uh, given by the GM, and they can also be taken uh, along the way. Different conditions can be taken to avoid death i will put that out there that you can uh, say oh i'll just take this condition and rather than let my character die so deprived yes so as deprived you've had uh some other sustenance that you require has been deprived you may not recover health damage until this condition ends and it lasts until we eat again or something uh Is yes there a spot on here where we no so under or? under health and psyche on the right conditions, side. Conditions, I yeah. see it. There you go. So we, so we can't heal, basically. Yes. However, as you are traveling, and so that we've been to the the village was the first section. The river was that second section. Now we're entering into a section of the travel mechanic that's called the forge. So, while you're traveling across the land. You come across an enemy camp of uh, soldiers of the Empire. Now, they're not facing your direction. It's almost like they have a wall blocking off towards the direction of where you're traveling. It's like they are on the other side of a boundary, protecting them from whatever is in the area known as Triumph Province. So, uh, you're just wa- looking at it from, say, Overhill. And looking down upon this camp, and you're like, man, it is unguarded. Their kitchen is unguarded. And so I'm going to tell you this much. This would be a moderate test. So that means two successes will be needed to progress. You have the option to either move down into the camp and steal, or you go around the camp and continue your journeys. But two successes will be required. Who wants to take on this test? I'll, t- I'll take it. You're gonna take it. Not, yeah. not, not sneaky, sneaky. No, I'm. I'm gonna try to get the food. Okay. What's your stall? Uh, that doesn't matter. It's oh, it matters. I'm gonna try to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I will step forward and and volunteer to go into this camp in order to sneak around the the men in the camp and. Get okay. get the, get this good food. See if they have any any more cheese puffs. I don't know. Are, are, are you sure? We've never seen you sneak before. That's, You're very loud. You uh, <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You're still farting <laughs> after all those cheese puffs. Look, <laughs> I, the smell will repulse them and they'll leave. 
or lead them straight yeah. to you. Now, I mean, remember, this is one <laughs> test only. Hey, but the rest of yeah. us can get away. So, <laughs> want to get away? I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He, he's going to try. All right. So, what I want to do is I want to sing my stealth song. And <laughs> <laughs> you have that while, while sneaking while sneaking in into this camp, what? and I want to try to use my intuition to like gauge where patrols are going to be in this camp. Okay, I mean, you said it was question, yeah. it was See. largely unguarded, mm-hmm. but I want to try to use my intuition to predict yeah. where the guards will be so I can more easily slip through, grab as much food as I or as much provisions as I can and slip out. Okay. See, um I bet if you sang the stealth song, he would give you a bonus die. Da-da-da. Is it anything like what Kronk sings? So you said exactly what so this is going to be intuition and stealth. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So go ahead and take one die for giving me a description. Okay. So, and uh, I also get a plus one to intuition when predicting my enemy's movements. Oh, ah, there we go. So that will give me. Yeah. Never forget those parts. Of that character. will give me five dice and I would like to spend a karma as well. Okay. Boop. Thank you. Boop, boop. I'm nervous. Is that the sound? Oh, look at that. I got three successes. Everybody who doubted me can eat cheese puffs because I'm bringing more. <laughs> I don't know. Can we? Or are you going to eat them all again? Hey, can we get will they actually make this? it back to us? Haters going to hate. That's all right. I'll make cheese danishes tomorrow. Oh, oh yes. You're my favorite. <laughs> so I got a quick question for yes. you. And I thought this actually might be an, uh, another opportunity to talk about uh, some game mechanics as well. Um my trigger for my scholar historian says knowledge is power and misinformation can change the course of history gain one karma when incorrect information or a mistranslation from a text causes problems for the group does that apply for my failed role i will say yes your team gains a karma so Uh, cool so we we get back one for the one that i nice there Uh, you go i gain a karma for walking into dangerous situation yay (laughs) <laughs> Pass the karma. Hooray. Do I get a karma for existing? <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. Okay. No. All right. So as a result of your uh, success in this situation, you both managed to replenish your stocks and you remove the deprived condition from the rest nice. of your team. You see, I solved the problem. Now I'm a hero. Everyone's just going to remember the good I did. You did good. Now shut up. <laughs> You're all right. What kind of what kind of shown in protag would I be if I didn't accidentally eat all the food and then fix the problem a afterwards? Too? One. Yeah. yeah, ridiculous <laughs> antics. You'd be the very opposite of most shonen you know, yeah. heroes. You're on brand. So, okay. So as you progress, and you manage to also skirt past the camp and continue leaving into the Triumph Province. What lies ahead of you now in this section of the travel, even though what is about to happen has nothing to do with this specifically, they call this section the mountain. So this is going to be another situation of, you know, hardship. And that is that as you're traveling, you now find a river. And you know that this river, you must traverse it somehow with your supplies and everything else to reach into the Triumph province. So, who is going to lead or guide the group across this river? I'm pretty good at looking at things. Looking at things like... <laughs> I have a decent perception. My survival is kind of crap, but... Okay. Um, let's see. I've got... Could we do it in a way that use, utilizes survival in order to kind of recognize the terrain mm-hmm. as well as um, something like we could find a, a shallower point in the river and utilize might to kind of just push on through? That sounds great. Yeah, no, okay. that's, a, that's a great uh, way to look at it. And so go ahead and use those two and add a dice. That's a, okay. I actually like that one. Yeah. So that's going to be three for might and two for survival and one extra. Do you get anything else from your uh Oh wow. from your uh, from your stuff? Not for this one specifically. Okay. Uh but I have that is Ooh. four five successes. 
Five successes? Jeez. Yeah, powerhouse. All right. That one was actually going to be a moderate test. So do we get any karma just because she kicked butt, or does it just move on to the it next It can. Person? Okay, so what you did is considered uh, you went three over on your test, which I believe consists of uh, it's a boost, I oh, believe. Oh, that's a boost, yeah. Yeah. It's boost a boost. The boost the moose and so with that boost you can uh either simply turning it in, into another karma for the table or you can do a certain uh you can do this with style you could uh you know uh, really i mean that's almost the only other one i can think of uh if there was bonus info that mm -hmm. could be gained doing this um well i'm gonna say ronto is not much for style um, she's more than happy to just kind of roll up her sleeves, find the shallowest part, and get with Camu and just tell everybody to force the cart over. And then we can use the uh, extra karma no, for with, later. With five successes, I was picturing uh, Ronto just picking up the dead, cart, picking up the <laughs> cart, and just dead walking lifted. across the river. Mm -hmm. She's got it. While it's everyone, on wheels, man. Just while everyone's it. just like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. But I so. Might. The yeah. table will gain a, another karma then. Whatever the ninja was trying to do, they do better. It's a heightened mm -hmm. effect. Mm -hmm. And I go, do why better. didn't you guys help me? And you so didn't need to. You got it. You find a shall uh, shallower area, but it looks like uh, a place that hasn't been washed out yet. Like uh, maybe this was where the riverbank was previously, and it's protected by some rocks, and you managed to get there. Pushing the wagon across, uh, it never loses footing. It never gets swept down river. You make it across, and not only that, once you make it to the other side, uh, not too far away, just from the edge of the woods, you see an abandoned hut. And going inside, you find tinder and some very simple supplies. Nothing of a food nature, but things that obviously are going to help you in this situation. And... Your characters, of course, setting fires, taking a moment to dry out, possibly uh, changing clothes, hanging up the wet ones for the night. The next day is your final test. And this is moving into a, a section of the travel we call a temple. And this is your grand arrival. So what happens for this is that literally... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> your teacher... We've left talking me for this. Yeah. <laughs> your teacher... Uh, and at this point, it is uh, uh, Akakage, mm -hmm. but you do not see Ayame. She oh, has, she's so cool. yeah, she's sneaky. She has disappeared for the moment. And but she's super hot. Akakage hands you uh, a map okay. and says, "Lead us in." You're good at looking at things. And so this will actually be. A simple test. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm I have a map, um, and I'm leading us in. Yeah. So you are ahead of you. It appears to be a swamp or a marsh. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, anybody who knows the Empire in general, your character definitely knows that the Triumph Province is almost largely swamps and marsh. Uh, the people here are considered to be very hardy. It is the home of the recoiling serpents. Uh, uh, yeah. We're here. Snake people. Yeah. And so... Assassins. Assassins. The map leads you through a marsh and gives you a general uh, idea oh, I understand. of a camping site. Okay. Um. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to find a larger stick, like three, four feet long, and I'm going to use that to help feel our way through the swamp so that we don't run into any, like, hidden like soft spots in the ground where the wagon could get stuck and then I'll use them I'll keep referencing the map um, to make sure that whatever the marked and or unmarked pathway through the swamp is 
uh, so that we can get there with relative haste, but still being careful. Okay. So, I'm thinking uh, crafts for the stick and having it as like a um, a marker, a marker, or a... so crafts definitely works. And then, what other skill are you thinking? Perception or intuition for reading the map. Hmm. Uh, intuition would work more with the stick, but I, I would allow either. Okay. Uh, yeah, because for me, it would be like intuition, like uh, you're trying to feel where things oh, okay. are. Yeah. But perception would be more looking at the map and looking at the area to try and feel okay. out the so, geography. So intuition and perception? Yeah. Okay. Well, I- intuition or perception uh, or crafts. I would allow crafts with the uh, in, uh, intuition. Got it. Okay. And then go ahead and add an extra die uh, for the description. Okay. We, I have two successes. Two successes. So you arrive safely. And so this is, a, this is considered a success. Uh, it is early enough that you will be able to rest and eat. Uh, the sun is still up and gives you enough time to set up your campsite, which what you find is at the end of this map, you have traversed this swamp Uh with Akikage watching on the entire time and arrive at this large uh, tree stump is the best way to put it. So large, in fact, that I would say it's around 10 foot in diameter. Okay. And as if something... And, and that's the amazing part of it. It is flat. Uh, it, you would either think that something very large moved through this thing, like a, a blade of some sort, or that it was sanded down. I mean, it is just that flat. So it, it feel, there's something very almost unnatural about this location. And it, you look around and you do see that many of the other trees in this area are equally large. How tall is the stump? The, t- the stump is about three, four feet off the, uh, from the ground up. Okay. So it's basically grabbing with your hands and pulling yourself up on top of it. And this is where you're setting your camp. You okay. said it was like 10 foot? Uh, 10 foot in diameter. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. We don't see these very often. But you manage to all relax, take your time, and eat. And uh, as the night wears on, Ayami does return. Uh, she looks rather exhausted and a little bit of mud splattered on her. Uh, but she arrives back and nods to Akikage and says, everything's set. Everything's good. Mm. I'm happy to hear that. Well, perhaps we should all gather around the campfire, all of us together. And Akikage kind of folds his hands and uh, sits cross-legged and motions for everybody to join him. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> hey, uh, Ak- Akakage Sensei, I yeah. have I have a question. Yes. Uh, why are we here? That's a relatively good question, and we can discuss that tomorrow. Thank you. Re- oh, okay. Rel- relatively. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but for now, I just want to talk to you about something, something that's very important. What do you know about Dan Ketsu? I know he's the guy our town is named after. Mm-hmm. Didn't he fail at killing the empire emperor? That's a good question in itself. <clears throat> Nobody's really sure what the answer is. Well, he thought he thought he killed the emperor. He was pretty sure. He came back and told everybody that he killed him. Yeah, and then we named a town after him, and then it turned out he lied. We don't or know. Or that the emperor is just some like dark wizard. We don't know that answer either. I think he's but yes, a dark Dan Ketsu was a member of the Lotus Coalition. But I can also tell you this: he was a Ronin. He came from no clan, so his training he achieved on his own. 
Cool. But I didn't think we could do that. Not too many can. And to be quite honest, you're always looked down upon for it. So, weird question. Are we Ronin? No, not technically. You haven't been recognized by the Lotus Coalition yet. That's where I come in. Okay. And then your clans also have the opportunity to take you in and also make you a part of the Lotus Coalition. Does that make sense? When do we get that? I mean, I mean, you how are old getting do we have close to, be? to the age, but that, this is one of the points I want to bring up. I mean, Ranto's fifteen. Dan Ketsu wasn't much older than any of you. She's not. Did you know that? No. I I kind of assumed he was like a guy with a really big beard and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I all the stories I've heard, he was older. He wasn't much older than you. Uh, like how much is much? few years maybe four or five Hmm. like 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 four or five older than me is like 16 yeah that's too young wouldn't happen why was he a ronin why didn't he get picked up by a clan sometimes it's desire sometimes it's a matter of another clans wanted him where did he come from not too many people know that answer i don't but I do remember this. But how do you know anything about it, him? Like, not yeah. anything. Because he lived in our village at one time. That was close to ten years ago now. How old were you? <laughs> Much younger. But the thing is, I do remember seeing him walk through there. But he kept to himself, and quite frankly, my parents hated him. Why? Because he was not one of us. We, but we, yet, he was part of the coalition. Our village was only named ten years ago? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because because the emperor like was gonna wipe out everybody, or did wipe out everybody because they killed we like ninjas killed his kids and stuff, and so, so he was gonna wipe out everybody, and this is where we had the this is where we hide. Huh. Well, not here. We're in the Triumph Province. That's not where we hide. Yeah. But Dan Ketsu, yeah. The thing is, so Dan Ketsu wasn't much older than you when he was sent off to essentially kill someone. But also, unfortunately, to die. And he was also... Did you say he was sent? Yes. Who sent him? Oh, the Lotus Coalition? The Lotus Coalition. Why would they send a Ronin? Why would they send a kid? That's one of the things that I want to talk to you all about. I mean, you don't even really let us do anything. Why would they send a kid to go kill somebody? I don't... The Emperor. Yeah. I want you all to be... I have a reputation for the students I train. So Ayame chose to be my assistant. I want you all to be capable of thinking for yourself. I want you all to be capable of knowing what your own path is before you take someone else's word to go strike someone down. I want you all to be ready for, this is a war, this is a conflict. But I want you capable and knowledgeable. Many kids your own age are already being picked up by the clans and taught jutsus. I want something more than that for you. I don't want you just sent off to be killed. Yeah, it's not high on my to-do list. Yeah, not my mom my and dad might be a little upset if I just got sent off to go be killed. I already have my own ambitions. I don't need anyone to send me on a path. I forge my own path. We know. <laughs> yes, chat, we well, know. Well, if you know, what, if you know your path... And that's good. But the thing is, is that before we get to that point, I wanted this moment, I wanted to be able to tell you, be knowledgeable. Understand that there are people out there in this coalition that will just throw someone away. But I will not. And I will not let that happen to my students. And so that's why I push you and that's why I train you the way I do. Can I can I uh, roll like an intuition to see if he's telling the truth? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, I would say empathy intuition would work well, uh, unless you have a different idea that you'd like to go with. Uh, uh, empathy intuition works for me. Okay, that's uh, that's one success. One success. As far as you can tell, he's being very truthful. Cool. Mm. All right, just you can you gotta be sure people. 
People be lying. People be lying. So is not Akagage Sensei. Turns out. So is all of this getting sent to die slash thinking for ourselves? Does that have anything to do with what we're out here for? <laughs> yes. I assumed. Oh no. Wait, I thought you just said that we wouldn't get sent to die. My parents signed a permission slip for this trip. Yes, they did. And they are fully aware of what's going on out here. But wait. My parents? If Yes. If we if we follow our own paths because you told us to, then aren't we doing what we're told? You're thinking about this too hard. Chet, we, we've already discussed thinking is not your strong suit. I'm Don't gonna, try to do it too much. I'm going to go take a nap. That might be a good idea. Somebody... Cheese puff check. Does he have them? I always have them. Open your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves a trail of orange I'm dust. I'm never yes. going to get a cheese puff Sensei, this campaign. Is this going to be on the final exam? No, not on the final. I think this is the final exam, guy. Mm, no. They're sending us out here to die, didn't you just hear <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, I'm sending you out here to learn lessons. How to die. Is... Is that why there are so many trees that look like this? What do you mean? You said that there were multiple trees that were just like the giant yeah. finely cut stumps. Yeah. Well, no, as GM, there are trees that are almost this big, but there's just this one that has been cut oh, down. I redact my previous statement. Yeah. What are you talking about, Takumi? We can see all these huge trees here. It's I'm the just, only one that's cut down. I'm just seeing things. Jeez. Are you going to make us cut a tree down like this? No. You're going to need a bigger saw. No. I bet I could punch it. You know, you, did you guys see her lift that cart? That was pretty crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, it was I just baller. pushed it, you guys. It's on wheels. <laughs> I swore. I, I saw, saw her lift it straight up I above her head and just march through that river. That's what I river. saw. This is how legends are born, Ronto. Ah. Let it go. Okay. Camu agrees. <laughs> He probably does, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and get some rest tonight. It gets fairly dark here, and I'll keep the fire going. You all can go ahead and sleep. I put my hair into a, I put my hair into a uh, sleep bun. Cool, Akakagi Sensei. You better put that fire out. Be cool about fire safety. I thought you were going to bed. I am. <laughs> He's so weird. I hate when he does that. I'm gonna go. Talks, and... talks about fire safety in his sleep. <laughs> was there anything anyone was going to do uh, before you crash off the night, uh, Takumi? Uh, no. No, nothing. I, I, I don't have anything. I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna write in my journal. Oh, I wanna. As part of my sleeping habit, I'm going to slip my bandana from on top of my forehead to over my eyes. Nice. Sleep mask, built in, fashionable, fashionable sleep mask. What about Veronica? Um, I'll I'll ask um, Ayame Sensei. Just what, what were you preparing for, or what were you checking for? I was checking to make sure the path was safe. Is there stuff up ahead that you don't trust us to be able to handle? Not anymore. Snakes. Do you feel safe? I mean, I feel pretty okay right now, but I don't know what's up ahead. We never do. Touche. <laughs> there are snakes here. I'm not I've heard snakes. about them. They're uh, uh, recoiling, recoiling ones. They're poisonous. Mm -hmm. All those snakes. Mm -hmm. You mean the snake clan? Do I? Probably. Is that what I mean? Yo. It's too late for mind games. <laughs> All right, dunces. I'm going to bed. Not <laughs> sensei. Sensei's not a dunce. I don't want to get hit. What about Guy? Is Guy going to do anything? Before he's he pulled out all of his texts and he's furiously studying because Kyo's <laughs> offhanded remark has about this being the final test has got him into a paranoid <laughs> study session. <laughs> he's cramming for the test that will never happen. Yeah. Nice. All right. The next morning, you all awaken. 
bright eyed and bushy tailed. The fire has long since gone out. You sit up and stretch. Oh, and as you do, you feel something. Each one of you feels something on one of your arms. Oh, no. What? Ah, is it time for the test? Uh, looking down at your arms, you see that each one of you have a steel manacle. Yeah. Oh, are we attached to each other? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, All no. of us are attached Gross. to each other, or do we have partners? No, you have partners. Oh, no. Oh, who am I partnered with? And so we're going to go around, and who, we're going got, to decide. Who got partnered with a teacher? This is an asymmetrical team. It is, almost. There almost. is a dog. Yep. Yes. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, no, who got paired with the dog? <laughs> Actually, well, looking down, me. and Guy, you do see that your the chain on your link goes to the puppy. No, that's my dog, not yours. What's happening here? I don't like this. <laughs> is this part of the You're test? taking him for a walk, or he's Kill- taking you for a walk, one of the two. I've never taken care of an animal before. Kamu is bigger than Guy. Yeah. <laughs> we established that. You he's a wolf dog. You could probably ride him. Is this him. thing clean? Yeah. Cleaner than me. Oh, that doesn't inspire much. At confidence. least you're not. Yeah. At least you're not Chet, chained. You are attached to Kyo. Oh. And Ranto, <laughs> you're attached to Takumi. I cool. hate this. I'm gonna flex and bust out of here. If you, you try fart flex, again, I'm, yeah, it's I'm, only bust at that point. Yeah. It, <laughs> it is uh, near impossible to break, but. Uh, you look around also, and you notice that the teachers are no longer there. Near impossible means possible. Near impossible doesn't mean So you're mean saying possible. there's a chance. But in the center of the group, laying on the ground, is this note. I uh, wish somebody to read the note, and uh, if possible, I'd like to add the nice little uh, you know, caveat. I'd love for somebody to try and either do their best or worst impersonation of Akakage while reading it. Of Akakage? Oh, best yes. or yes, worst. Yes, yes, Who yes, would yes, like yes. to do? Yes, oh, yes, you yes, want to yes, do yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But I need the note after you so I can actually retain the information because I know things. Sure, sure, sure. All right. (coughs) This is apparently by Akakage. To my students, congratulations on reaching your first test on becoming members of the Lotus Coalition as ninjas of the various clans. Although you may be surprised by this turn of events, a ninja must always be prepared, and you should trust in yourself. That you are ready for this moment. How am I doing? Am I good? Yeah. 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 Awesome. For the rest, your first test is as follows. When the Emperor used the power of the spirits to cause it to rain and storm, the effects were much broader than anyone could have imagined. Here, within the swamp, surrounded by the tall trees of this plateau, lurks what are known as blind snakes of Tokui. Warped by mystical energies of the spirit realm, these snakes adapted and changed to hunt in their flooded realm. Now, rather than sensing sensing heat, they sense key, feeding on it, and often hunt in groups. This sounds wonderful. I don't like this. Their bites are painful, but not poisonous, preferring to constrict their opponents rather than within the coils of their heavy 11 foot long bodies they are likely already nearby hunting do we see movement 11 foot long <clears throat> bodies no we got some boa constrictors on us y'all pythons you will each also realize that you are each handcuffed to another member of your class yeah oh. we noticed how about that being a ninja means you will work often you will often work in teams that require you to rely on one another's strengths and supplementing each other's weaknesses. So yes, this is a part of the test. Mm. However, as a boon from your instructor Ayami, uh, as a boon from your instructor Ayami from your bout within the training grounds, she has given one singular key to your cuffs, but it can only be used once. This will unbind one set only granting a huge advantage for two ninjas to be unbound. The trainees who use that key will not be recommended to learn a jutsu 
following this first test. The key is above the sleeping area. I'm going to look up. Uh, like, dangling oh, about like 10, 15 tent? feet uh, above the stump on a branch, you see on a leather thong a key. Well, I, you've had discussions about not wanting a jutsu yet. I don't want you to ruin this for me. We're not taking the key. Look. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got one little oh, bit left. More? Uh, if, oh. <laughs> yes. Based on the outcome of this test, either you or one of your fellow students will begin clan training. So this is competitive to a degree. But you're being graded on working together and finding the clues to surviving this test written in this note. Give me the note. I'm better at that than you. He already read it. But there's clues. But can't she do as good of an Akakage sensei impression as I can? Uh, you made him sound way, way, way too okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, congratulations on Ultron, your first test. That's not what he sounds like, Dingus. That's what he sounds like in my ears. Oh, yes. 11 foot long bodies. Okay, I'm looking out for... Can I make some sort of perception check? Mm -hmm. Perception survival, maybe. Yeah, sure. Can it's we not all great. do that? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll help out with that. I only got one. I got three. I got two. I rolled three ones and a three. I don't see crap. So to utilize teamwork, I climb on top of Kyo's back and, and just like Kyo's the out. shortest one among us all. No, I'm no, the shortest one. No, uh, Kyo's the tallest. She, yeah, oh, Kyo, yeah, Kyo's the tallest and the sturdiest, thus yeah. good for climbing. <laughs> yeah. and I'm very stocky as so well. It's, I built it's, like tree. Those three successes were from teamwork. Sturdy. Okay. It's just, hey, lift your arm up so this doesn't, this doesn't ah, jerk. Ah, ah. You don't see anything? But in the distance, you think that you do hear the telltale sounds of a scraping movement, uh, possible, and it's repetitive over the sounds of wood. All right. What are they shedding their skins or something out there? That's what it kind of sounds like to him. Yeah, They're on their tummies. Which, which so, direction? The leaves. Uh, we're gonna say uh, if you let, let's just say that your characters arrived. Traveling in from the east, mm -hmm. this uh, sounds like it is coming from the west. So the opposite direction of how you arrived, as if it's coming. You came this way, and they're com this is coming this way. Okay. 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 So much like uh, the movie, The Mighty. I don't know if you guys remember with uh, with the big strong kid, and then the kid who couldn't use his legs, one on top of the other. I'm going to suggest that Kyo run towards the sound. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I feel like this how is long a is this chain in between these manacles? This chain in between the manacles like, is roughly about five feet. Okay. Well, I'm we going got to, some wiggle room. I'm going to go ahead and explain Good. something to that with this. So this mechanic that we're going to be dealing with today as part of the game Trying play to find clues, y'all. Is teamwork. And... Within Ninja Crusade, there is a neat little mechanic that uh, what happens is, is that ninja work together. One ninja provides one skill and the way in which it is being used, and another ninja provides another skill in the way in which it's being used, and it combines to form a single dice pool. Okay. All right. You will each roll for your one skill, but the total comes together, and this is the way teamwork is done in this game. Mm. Now I'm going to explain something as well that with the chain between you on physical tests or things that are physical feats, if you try to do something without teamwork, you will be facing a negative two penalty. Okay. Okay. So that should explain a little bit of what's going on with this. Uh, other than that, all your equipment is still on you. So yes, you do have your archery stuff. You do have your swords if you have any. You have your stars if you have any. Things of that nature. Archery's going to suck with a person attached to my hand. Yeah. Okay. So, Why so, am I not attached to my dog? So right now, Chetsuo is going to uh, key Kyo in to a special attack 
that he has formulated just now that is inspired from a story that he read about a uh, a metal man and a small angry man. Okay. The called the fastball special. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just because I'm bigger doesn't mean I'm stronger. We've discussed which, this, and you beat me in which, an arm wrestling. Which one of you is the ball? Uh, I, me. I'm sure the so small we, one. So, so you run towards Although the snakes, and then you really throw well. me at the snakes, and then we fight the snakes together. And it all sounds like they're in one location, or does it sound like they're all around us? Uh, he is the only one who is able to hear it, and it's off in the direction, uh, probably, I don't say, think charging into these blind 30, snakes is away. going to help. Um, I'm trying to figure out where what clues we could have in here. Out, uh, of out of character. There are clues in here, right? There are. Or am I, extent, am, I, am I misunderstanding your sentence? As far as the clues go, it's more uh-huh. of a matter of intuition. Of, there are things that are given in that letter that yes. uh, may give you ideas of how to survive. Let's, let's, team, uh, let's teamwork for the first time and pour over this letter together. Okay. As friends, so it said. It said that it uh, that they you need to be in a taller tree. They they <laughs> sense that they sense key, not heat. So yeah. our body heat doesn't matter. It's mm-hmm. the fact that we exist right now is yeah. what they're hunting after, and they they choose to coil around them mm-hmm. their prey and crush it. Yeah, their bites are painful but not poisonous, preferring to constrict their opponents within their coils of their heavy. 11 foot long bodies. The blind snakes of Toqui. Yeah. Would I would I be able to roll intuition on this note to try to discern the clue left behind? Actually, can I do that as well? well that's, like? so, that's why I was thinking we could so use you teamwork. So in, in, intuition and I do knowledge? Sure. You're a rather peaceful person. Does that work? Right? I'll let you know I try to be. You what if do we want to like... use a karma? Uh, yeah. Got somewhere. Okay, high okay where we could karma. just roll the karma. Okay. See anything coming. Can we use more than one karma? To empty ourselves. I don't uh, think so. Only, on, only one. Okay. One per roll. Because well, I, I, so it's teamwork. I didn't no know if it, was, if it stacked. Yeah. I'm glad I used karma. It yeah, rolled can, a nine, but I got five successes. I got. I rolled. I only rolled two dice, but I rolled a ten on one of them, so I got two successes. I rolled two tens and a nine. Dang. Okay. So how many so successes know, total? So how many did you get? I got two. You got five. five so seven. Seven successes total. Uh, and so this was going to be a moderate test. So, so that's two. So you have five over, which means that you would get one boost. Yeah. Ooh. So let's, let's add that karma back in the pool, baby. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do that, or, or do you want to see about more possibly more, more knowledge? knowledge? Oh yeah. We okay. could get more info. We, yeah. Then yes. Okay. So go ahead and pass the letter over to me, and I will point out a few things. You're gonna highlight some stuff. I've got a highlighter. Oh, that'd be great. Will you share with other with us, or is this just team? No, we'll tell you. Well, if you if you look I... at the first letter of every sentence, <laughs> it says "kill snakes." Let's sit down and do a crossword <laughs> while these snakes come Snake. for us. Snake. <laughs> well, this is just like one of my Japanese animes. Huh? Yeah. So bonus info. Ooh, a streak bonus. We get bonuses if we run naked. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> and do. Yeah, when, when Ranto streaks, it still looks like he's <laughs> she's clothed because it's she's still covered dirty. in dirt. Camu is always streaking. That's true. Oh, Camu has fur. Lucky. Mm-hmm. But so it still makes like his coat. naked body. Are you, are you body. sure? Are you sure he's not like one of those Sphinx cats but a dog? No, he's got hair. We don't okay. know what animal it is. <laughs> I think he's a dog. When was the last time Camus was bathed? Probably we, sooner we, than the last time we walked through a Rancho river bathed. on the way here. We did walk through water. There we go. He did take a tumble and roll. So looking over the letter, the things that you begin to piece out is that, okay, their bodies are heavy. Yes. But they are 11 foot long. Yeah, so they can't get very high. So we do need to go up higher. And also at the very end, when it says the key is in the trees. 
or it is says above. the key is above this sleeping area, so we it need to get It might not specifically up. be referring to, to the, the key, key. To cups. Okay. This is on the letter. It does say that this is, in a sense, a competition. Are we sharing this information with the others? I. You also highlighted blind and flooded. Uh, with no them answer. being blind and flood. Okay, and I'll give this as bonus information for that yeah. uh, extra point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so sassy. So you know that they're they don't hunt based on uh, right. They hunt based on, on, heat, on key. Based on key, but also that they mainly remain underwater. You're also. Wondering, and you, I will say, which one of you was rolling knowledge? Me. You? You also remember hearing about some snakes in this area that do not, uh, are strangely incapable of hearing. Like their ears have closed off. It, they, they, it's almost as if their senses have been destroyed in okay. that nature. So. Right. All right. Well, so, that would be these ones, right? Yeah. So they will not be hunting you based on the amount of sound you're making either. Sure, sure, sure. I get that. Okay. I get that. So you can be as noisy as you want. They're not going to be reacting. But but I return. I, are we sharing this information I or think, are we just looking at this? In I our... think the teamwork has to do with more than just the two that were are chained together. I, from the way that the letter is written, I would argue that the teamwork comes down to the pairs that they had made. But Well, it does, but I mean... I, if you choose to share the information, I won't fight you. Well, this is the thing, Chet, is... Camo can't climb a tree. I mean, so you'd be surprised. we would... Well, maybe. He ninja dog. I mean, I'm pretty... Have you not seen Naruto? I'm pretty strong. I can just... I can carry you up the tree. Carry him up the tree? Looking up, do do we see any... I probably... If we're having this conversation still quietly, well, mm -hmm. I mean... Mm -hmm. Meta, you all can hear, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, right. Is yeah, there, do I see ways to get up into the tree? Uh, or And then once we're up there, are there places to go? A lot of these trees are very large like this one, but sure. you notice gnarled bark on the outside of all of it. You're pretty sure that that bark would work well as handholds. It would be fairly easy for... At least Do any of the limbs too. like meet each other that we yeah. could like go across Further trees? Up, you're noticing that it is like a very dan dense canopy. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say. Um. I think we should at least tell them to get that. They, we should probably. I don't want to leave them to get hurt down here. We don't. We don't have to share anything else with them if if we find something up there. But All right. I think we should at least tell them that they need to get higher up. I mean, one of them may go after the key. We're not doing it. D never. What fun would this be if it what were if easy? Oh, guys, they hunt key. Maybe somebody should get up there and take down the key and throw it at the snakes. Are you trying there. to bait us? Mr. Yeah. Are you trying to bait us? No, we actually need to get up in the trees. They can't climb. At least I don't think so. Can well, I hope not? Can can I sense? Oh hey, Kyo's I gave true motivation. Hey, I get one karma when trying to help, or no, when uh, for complete inaccurate <clears throat> but useful inform, but sound useful sounding information. Oh yeah, <laughs> guys, throw the key at. They hunt key. It's I, a word. It's a word play. I, d I do have a legitimate question. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> He gave it to us. With guys. the with the way that key works in this world. Yes. Would my character believe that he could like pick something up, infuse it with his key, and then throw it in a direction to like make the snakes confused as to where we are? Hmm. That would be an interesting idea. And I would let you succeed. But I'm going to be expecting you to uh, make a test. Okay. And I'm going to be telling you that I'm going to make it tough. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Kyo that this is my plan. Like, hey, I'm gonna I'm going to infuse 
a rock or stick or whatever's on this thing key. with key. The key with key. N- no, because then I'd have to go up and get it, and I'm going to pick up something that's on the ground oh, close to us right now. Get up and, and it went. So here's my okay, here's okay, the thing. Okay, sorry. I infuse sorry. a thing with Tell key, me. throw it in a different direction other than the direction we're going so that the snakes go after that while we run to a tree in the opposite direction and climb it. Can we not get... How close is the nearest tree? Uh, nearest tree is probably about 10 feet away from the uh, edge of this stump. And I've okay. only heard where the snakes are. We don't have visual on where they is are. They, they stay underwater. They stay I underwater. Read that. Yeah. Is there standing water near the stump? Yes. All around it. All we're, around we're it? We're in a swamp. You're in yeah. a swamp, and there are areas where, yeah, the swamp water comes right up to it. So yeah, based based on the fact that I was the person that got us up to the stump, mm-hmm. and we came from the east, I at least know for sure that it isn't like two feet of water on the east side of the stump, at least for a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, you know that you you found a you followed the map and followed a path that kept you from sinking into any kind of mire or anything like that. Right. Okay. So, in fact, in order to make this a teamwork roll, I would say you also pick up something, infuse it with key, and throw it in a different, like we'll throw it in two different directions, and then we'll go a third direction okay. towards a tree. Okay. I've I've seen this movie. Or I've, I've seen this. It's not going to work that show. way, unfortunately. Okay. okay. I, oh. I thought it. Yeah. I, I thought I should throw it out there. Yeah. But okay. It would be two separate tests. Now remember, so this is going to be a physical test, which means that you're going to provide one skill. She'll provide another. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you so. And okay, yeah, key infusion. That would be. Yeah. So key all right. So I'll one. do. I'll just. I'll do that on my own. All right. Then. So that will be, if you do the entire test on your own, that's going to be a negative two penalty. Here. Okay. Uh, let me, no, let oh. me find which way he should throw it. Let me, let me kind of look around and see which tree we should get to, what one looks best for climbing. Can I do an intuition? Uh, for, if, if, so yeah. if he does his key infusion. Yeah. And then I just, so. That sounds good, yeah. Th- Intuit the tree that we need to use to climb, and then and then I'll throw the the, the d- rock in the wrong direction, the, other, the opposite the other direction. way. Yeah. Okay. So that's so how we work together. What is your key rating currently? I have two yang, one yin. <laughs> All right. So uh, I believe that the way this works is that you're going to be rolling uh, the equivalent of a jutsu activation. Which let's go ahead and look up uh, the rules on that really quick. So I want to make sure we do this right. Essentially what I'm going to be doing to explain my mindset as the GM in this scene is that uh, you were attempting to kick off a jutsu-like ability almost. Uh, I'm going to say that you're kind of untrained in jutsu. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you and I can talk about maybe this being something that you build towards your own jutsu. So uh, we're going to go with that. That's why I'm making it a fairly tough test. So, all right, here's here is the correct pages. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Was that 104? Uh, yeah, yeah, that is 104. All right, so I think you get to... Yep, you don't need to mold key. Uh, Trying to find the right rules exactly. It starts on 103. Yeah. Activating jutsu. Okay, so you're going to be using what? What are your two stats for yin and yang? I have two yang, one yin. So you're looking at two, because uh, it, it doesn't stack together. You're going to be using your yang more than likely since that's your higher stat. Okay. Okay. So you can do that. So is yang is in. In the yin and yang symbol, is yeah. is yang the darker one? Uh, I, I believe so. I believe so. so. Okay, yes. so then. No, it's the white one. It's the white one. It's the white oh. one. All right. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So then, so then it will the the color of the key will be a uh, like a light red. Oh yeah. Like a pink. It's not quite. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
It can just was, be that bright. Was a rock, that was a rock sand. Uh, it's a bright do Okay, we and use... what do you need me to roll? Uh, you're literally rolling those two dice based oh. on your uh, jutsu activation. Do you want to roll the karma, or do you want me to roll the karma? I'll roll the karma. Let's do it. That's two mm. successes for right. me. I got one. So one success? Three total. Yep. Okay. So you watch as this chaotic energy is infused into this rock, or what What was it you found? Uh, you know, if we're, we're in a swamp, more likely a stick. Okay. Uh, it is hard <laughs> for you to maintain thing. control, and it is only with Keo basically saying, okay, okay, throw it here, and... You know, with the two of you working together that you're able to do this. This is a very tough thing to do. And you're not even certain that you've ever heard of anybody doing something like this. You're just shooting from the hip at this point. (laughs) And you throw. And uh, I'm going to say that it lands quite a ways away from you, uh, possibly off where you can't even see. But you begin to hear the sounds of movement moving towards it. All right. And then I shout, cheese it, and we'll run towards the tree. (laughs) All right. Do you follow? Um, I was just kind of thinking that, like, since y'all have been in, like, your little bit of, of a, like, a private planning thing, and you, like, only stepped out of it just enough to say something about the key, and then you went back into doing So we doing need to get thing. up there and infuse the key with key. Uh, was that something that was done loud enough for the rest of us to even partake in, or are we having our own private conversation? Uh, that's the... Well, they've, I mean, they've yeah. said... You know, we need to get up. I said we need you to get up that, high. Yeah, I did but say that. Let's go ahead and touch on that really quick. So, for your characters, what are you doing other than looking at your bonds and saying, "Oh, great"? You, you did have an idea that you were mentioning earlier. Right. Were you we so could, interested? if we, yeah, if we just got up in a tree, that gets us high enough that we're out of the way of anything, mm-hmm. and then we could just try to eliminate the one thing that draws them. Just empty ourselves of key. It's not a bad plan. Um, So we just need a branch big enough where we can be close enough and just because of this and then just try to empty our minds, I guess. I don't know how this works. Well, give it a whirl. Uh, How do we get rid of it? Are you saying this out loud enough for anyone else to hear this? I'm probably not quiet. Okay. So you're, uh, you would also hear this. Uh, of course, uh, the pooch is right next to you, uh, looking up at you das and, pooch. you know, kind of pawing at the chain a little bit and looking at you and looking back over at you. I, I look at Camu and then I look at Guy and I'm like, he's pretty sturdy and he's pretty quick. If you can tell him where to go, he'll get you there. You're not gonna command him to sabotage me or anything, are you? No, he's chained to you. If you mess up, he gets in trouble. So Fair don't enough. mess up. Okie dokie then. Quick, quick uh, rules question because I spent because yes. I use those two points of key. Are they spent? Yeah, uh, so you would have spent. Uh, technically, you're spending one. Okay. And you're kicking off a jutsu. Sometimes now we'll get it if. When your characters get jutsus, there are things where, when you fail at a jutsu test or your jutsu test for your key, bad things can happen. But we'll worry about that when y'all's characters get to that point. Okay. So, but yeah, you do lose one point. Okay. Cool. All I right. Will, I will mark that. So I guess not necessarily to the same tree because that's fine. We don't have to go the same one. Yes, yeah, that's that's inviting trouble in my head. That's fine. Uh run backwards a little bit from where we came where we know the ground is safe and there's less likely to be snakes find a tree and i don't know i could we could see if like if there isn't a low-hanging tree and we need to get up higher maybe i could uh maybe you i can i can probably make a jump with you i've got good athletics i've got good might um speed's pretty decent okay if you want to point me in the right direction and tell me how high to jump, I'll go. Yeah, if we could get high enough, maybe I could use, like, marksmanship to kind of aim the chain so that we can, like, hook it on something to help pull ourselves up. Oh, you got a chain? 
Yeah, y'all are we have, together. Oh, we our together. Cha- we kind of have a chain. <laughs> okay, I got you. Um, yeah, if you want to slingshot me around a chain or something, I'll I'll be a little anchor. Well, that's you, classic. You'd probably Rato. you'd probably you'd probably be able to whip me around more than I would be able to whip you around. But maybe I could use my yeah. aim to. Or you could eat, like I think what you're saying is more like a jump rope. I can't tell Sk- if you know, flirt something like that. Game yeah. loop. Ew. Up <laughs> what did you say? Shut up over there. <laughs> Well, uh, so at this point, everybody's headed for the trees, right? I mean, Just that's, different that's ones. To the trees! So what, uh, and you're going with What them? is your character going to be doing, Guy? Well, so, do I know if Camus can climb trees at all, or... Camus, and I have his stats over here. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also, I think it's like page 94 or 84, if you need to look it up, too. He might um, be able to bounce between trees. And <laughs> he's got athletics. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm convinced that he can make it. Yeah. Right. It, it, athletics could be used for jumping or climbing or whatever, but sure. yeah. Um, and so, and how big is Camu again? What kind of a breed is he? Camu, well, we the ninja know. dogs, <laughs> the ninja we're dog. assuming he's a ninja dog. The ninja dogs are really large. They're kind of wolf-like. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of looks more like a, a slightly scrawnier coyote version. Yeah. So he doesn't look impressive. Yeah. Um, but So I can't ride him. I would say if you're close to my hide it at all, you could probably get away with it. I don't know. That might be a hindrance to him if he's trying to jump into a tree, though. Yeah. But if you work with him mm-hmm. and let him be the pool. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so as one of my characteristics, I did give him a run through the litter. So he is kind of shorter than <gasps> your average person. So. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. So I wh- got run to the litter, too. There you go. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm rump, buddy. My other run to. <laughs> I'm going to pull this over the here shorties. a little bit. Is that all right? Norries, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, if I can uh, just kind of, with the the aid of, um, also, is there only one copy of the note, by the way? Yeah. But yes, there's only one copy. Kel right, would give it to you if you'd like it. I would like to have it. There you go. You may have it. Yay. Add, add highlighted ninja note to your inventory. Woot. <laughs> Uh, right. But yes, I will be, um, at, for the short term, going to a tree with the aid of Camus to uh, buy me some time to look into this note more. So All right. So you all begin uh, making your way to your own individual trees, and in the distance behind you, uh, nearing the location of where the object was tossed, you do hear a little bit more of that kind of hissing and sounds of snakes. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to start uh, off with our team of Takumi and Ronto. Uh, how are you working together to get up a tree? Okay, so we've gotten to the base of our tree. Uh, how how high up until we're actually at, like, a branch? Uh, the branches, there are, like, broken branches. Uh, the first, like, say, five or six feet. But the canopy really gets thick at about 10 to 12. Okay. So we can, between you giving us a shove up and then me hooking it onto those broken branches, we can try to get up to that 10 to 12 feet? Yeah, I climb trees all the time. Yeah, we just got to coordinate it. All right. So what skill are each of you providing? I would like to offer athletics. Okay, so athletics. And then uh, for Takumi? I'm thinking uh, marksmanship or perception for aiming the chain so that we can actually get it to hook on those branches. Either really makes sense at this point. Okay. So you'll each roll your individual stat. Two successes. Nice. Two successes. Two successes, two successes. So it would have been a moderate test to get up the tree. Uh, So you don't get a boost, but you do together. You manage to run to the tree, and you give him a boost, and he throws the chain and latches on to one of the broken branches right up against the base of the tree. You begin to both climb your way up and making your way up into the safety of the tree. I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, for Guy. So Guy and Camu, how are you going to get up into the tree? Um, I would... Like to, uh, 
use my knowledge of spatial geometry and <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to college. Yep, uh, and use uh, hopefully perception as well to kind of um, look for fallen logs and other ways we can hardcore parkour up into uh, a high enough branch especially since we have a dog and their species aren't terribly well known for climbing so ninja dog though right. i know i know but i'm just, I'm just saying is that you know i'm trying to give him an assist like a natural ramp or something mm-hmm. hey i like it uh so go ahead and add one to uh either yours or camus dice pool all right if you want to roll for camu sure uh so i think at the athletics at this point is what he's going to be using just throw your dice across the table uh, Jeez. if you, one of you wishes She's to use gun. uh yeah. You know, obviously, somebody might want to use some karma. I we I do might. Have karma. I have a suggested skill dice. Is what the book gave me is three for these stats. Yes. So I'll take some karma and you I'll also go? take that dice back. Okay. So here's one karma. And so, uh, yeah. so when we're doing a team roll, we each choose one, one skill, skill. Uh, so to combine together. All right, the dog's so, doing athletics. Uh, knowledge for me. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Um, one success. Uh, one success. All right. So together that makes a moderate success. Nice. Which is what you needed. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So uh, did you hop on the dog's back? Um, let's say yeah. for Ride sake of cinematics, uh, it's more of... The chat's into it. Uh, of we are using each other's momentum to kind of zigzag through the chains uh, using that chain as extra, you know, um, I don't know what's the right word, but like leverage to kind of fling each other through the trees uh, in a combined effort to... Awesome. So kind of like uh, the... What do they call that? Hmm? I can't think of the right word for it. But. We're so descriptive this evening. <laughs> <laughs> slingshot. Yeah, yeah. it's a slingshot. Yeah. Like, like when they slingshot around the moon in Apollo 13. That's what mm-hmm. I was trying to think of. and I, couldn't think of, I was thinking whiplash, and I was like, that's not right. <laughs> that's okay. what you'll have after. But so... Momentum, someone in the chat yeah. says. Yes. Hey, there you go. Thank there you. There we go. Momentum. Thank you. Chat's so helpful. Lost Thank you. Quaggan. So, you build up that momentum, and you launch into the tree, and uh, Camu actually managed to find, a, you know, finds a branch where it's got kind of that Y split on it, mm-hmm. and front paws on one part of it, back paws on the other, and looking quite proud of himself now, standing up in a tree, looking around. Do we know what breed again? Is it more they, coyote? Kind right? of wolf. They look like, well, the, the ones in the book look like nice, full she furred was, wolves. Okay. Uh, he kind of looks more like a coyote. All right. Like Wiley a coyote. Little, he's a little scraggly. <laughs> All right. Act me. He's an expert in explosives. <laughs> All right. And now so our final pool. So what all are you going to be doing we to ran. get up there? Yes, you ran, but you we need to make a, a test. Oh, we're climbing. We're climbing, yeah. Yeah, we need to. We need to ice climbers our way up the street. Yeah, so... All right, so what, what, what are call? your skills that each one of you are going to be getting? Um, I'm not very athletic-y, um, and I'm not very mighty. How's your... I'm survi- uh, how's, your, s- how's your speed? Mm, no. How's... Uh, speed, athletics, and might are all a big fat zero. Oh. Hmm. So Always remember that... I'm chunky. How's your... Play, uh, play your strength. How's, how's your holistics? Can you... Can you... Actually, my holistics is one. What? Can you haggle no, with I do the have, snake? I do have fortitude. Yeah, can I talk to the snake? Okay. And make him <laughs> leave us alone. Okay, no. you have you have fortitude. I also have discipline um, and survival um, and stealth. So oh, sur- maybe I'm stealthy. Survival would survival probably would work actually... really well. Okay, I only mm-hmm. have one in survival, but it is something. Oh, okay. Uh, we have karma. We do have karma. Remember, I'm a talker. I'm not a walker. <laughs> I roll really well as <laughs> well. <laughs> so, so how do you get to the talks? Yeah. I'll need to um, roll up a tree. See, and I put so, all my stats in fighting and see, intimidation, and I can't fight or intimidate these trees. Um, well, I can, again, but it I'm wouldn't help. Bow down to me. So I could do the same kind of thing that, you know, that Twan did. I could, I could do a little, you know, looking for... I already looked for the best tree for us to climb. So, but yeah, I could yeah. do some... Uh, Read that true, and then I could I could do at athletics. So what I'm thinking, like a way for us to get up the tree, would be like you spot the best climbing route, and I instruct on how to actually physically climb it. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, knowledge athletics. Knowledge athletics. Does that work for yeah. you? Absolutely. I'm rolling. I, w- I would like to do karma. You want to do yeah. the karma? Well, I just wanted to use it, okay. but I'll roll it. Also. Oh, we. Oh, well, it's not combat. Blam. I was like, we've never done dynamic actions. I did not get a single one. I got two. You did get two. I got two. All right. Get any. So. I'll help you get up in the tree. Yeah. I will say that as you are running, you. You're really not finding anything in your uh, in your mind with your knowledge as far as yeah. ways to get up there. And I don't know. <laughs> but you see at one point uh, that there are two trees that are very close together. Uh, and you think that maybe you can kind can of... Can I do the chimney crawl? Yes. You can chimney crawl up between the two trees together. I'm and debating make over whether putting my back against one and then like shimmying up. Or if I do the the Cusco and the other guy, what's I his name? I do the Gronk. Uh, no, not not Gronk. Oh. Uh, oh no, the guy that he spends most of the movie with. They go back to back and yeah. they, prank, they climb up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We Pacha. could do that. Yeah, we could do yeah. that. Uh, Cusco John, and Pacha. John Goodman. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we could do that. Cusco and his uh, best friend. John I Goodman. can't. I can't remember their names. <laughs> and then so okay, so we end up both on a uh, different tree, that mm-hmm. are pretty close together. Here's here's my really dumb idea. <laughs> We both flare our key out, so one of the snakes comes towards us and pokes its st- like self out of the water, right? Like coming at the tree. Then we jump down and like use the chain to like pin it to the ground, and then and then we like get the jump on do it. Do we even have to do that? Can we just climb the tree? We we gotta we like didn't the note say we gotta beat up the snakes? Did it? You you have a, a perfect memory of what the note yeah, said. Yeah, I was say I might not. Uh, Roxanne doesn't remember, but Kale remembers exactly what it says. Okay, Caleb. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it actually doesn't say. It just says, based on the outcome of the test, either one of y- either you or one of your fellow students will begin clan training. It doesn't actually say anything about whether. It just tells us that they're here. I don't think we have to fight the snakes. We just have to avoid them. We lost you. Oh, we lost them again. What it, I oh, think no. your cable has a, a short. Yeah. yeah that's what it sounds like. Oh, there yep. Yeah, hey, all right. Let me just slowly. <laughs> we'll fix that on <laughs> we'll break. We'll fix here it during moment. break. Yeah, we have another okay. cable. Nobody Sorry, knew. y'all. Yeah. I will. I will just not touch it for the rest of. Try forever. not to touch it. Yeah. Okay. But let's go ahead and say that your characters make it up into the trees. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That 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 is definitely a given at this point. You made your tests and you shimmy up. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy, As you are shimmy. all up there looking around, and how do we how do we get out of this once we're back to back? <laughs> oh, so we, we get so up there we, and we're like, we get we get up there and okay. then okay, uh, yeah, okay, we just grab a tree branch and swing over. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we just we do it. I I instruct you how to do it with my with my two I success appreciate it. I will help you on your next math test. Thank you. I really hate math. Your next I, numbers are test. numbers are stupid and can't hurt anyone. <laughs> all right. Yes, they can. It depends. It yes, hurts they me. Can. <laughs> As you're up in the trees now, all of you are looking around, and you notice that engraved on all of the trunks of the tree, uh, at, you know, at intervals of about every five feet, you now see arrows, and all the arrows are now pointing in a certain direction. In which general direction? Uh, uh, somewhat back the direction you came, but a little bit more northerly. So northeastern direction. Yeah. Okay. Which one of us is closer to where it's pointing? Uh, well, it, so like if it's pointing northeastern, which one of us is more north northeastern? You're looking, and it's literally. Uh, oh, y'all probably ran a little bit further to find the trees. Uh, I'm asking who's in the lead. You would have, you would be in the lead. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. all the arrow, just about every tree that you look around has an arrow. Has an arrow pointing in roughly the same direction. Okay, and, and so has been busy. Yeah, no wonder she didn't come last. She wasn't around last night. And so, this is where we're going to go ahead and pause and take our break for the moment. Uh, uh, we will be back in ten minutes, everybody. We hope to see you back. Yes, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank we've you. Had, we've had some active chat uh, members. Really quickly, I will say that uh, we had twenty people joining our Facebook page this last week. Yep. Yep. And so, uh, for that, I was giving the party an item, and I'll go ahead and let them know that that item was that key. Oh. oh. 
the and key so, that we get in trouble for you yes well yeah, sometimes not, not every not every item is ah, you know it's a red herring How it's a red herring you? but the thing is it could have been good could have been bad you could have always uncuffed uh you know uh camu from mm-hmm. you you could have always uncuffed yourself then, and you know done a little well, act of self-sacrifice got, yeah, you still would have had to get up in the tree to get it yes. and then so Cam- somebody would have. have gotten a jutsu then hmm. yeah but That's either way, so that was the item, and uh, because we had uh, five people in chat, uh, or at least five people watching us so far, I will go ahead and give you all uh, one more extra uh, karma going Woo-hoo! into it. Nice. Thanks, chat. So thank you all so much, guys, Woo! and uh, we will be back in 10 yeah. minutes so we can finish out this. All right. See y'all soon. And we're back. Thank you so much for all of you who stayed through our break. Uh, always happy to have some more viewers. So, uh, where we left last our characters off, you are in this swamp in the Triumph province. And having recently climbed the trees. Uh, all of you are capable of seeing each other, but you do, uh, now that you're up in the canopy and away from the snakes that are said to be below in the swamp. Hey, you. You see, uh, you see arrows pointing in the direction or anything. Can we go ahead and test oh you again really quick? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we're having some mic issues. Mm. Yeah. Try again? Hello. Nope. Testing. Yes. It's doing, it's doing it more. Uh, it's doing it more now. Right, uh, go ahead. Hey, We're just going to take a really short break a second. Yep, sorry, we're having technical mm. difficulties. Do, do, do. Where's my screen? Back in a second. All right, we fixed it. There we go. Now we have a new mic on. It's always good to have backups. Now everyone can hear me. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. Which is what's really important Let me just turn him down just a smidge. (laughs) Now nobody can hear uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Now look at your girl. Now back at me. (laughs) Listen to the radio. Now listen to me. Now listen to the radio. All right. So your characters have... Again, you're up in the trees. You see arrows pointing to the northeast that have been inscribed on all of the tr- uh, tree trunks up here. So what are your characters going to do? Uh, there have been other ideas that have been given out. Uh, previously, y'all were saying something. You said that your character probably is fairly loud, so everybody probably overheard what you said. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> Giving Sorry. you a hard time for that. Yeah. <laughs> um. I was saying that we could um, attempt to, like, empty our bodies of ki. I know that's something that you can do in, like, a meditative state. And, like, if that's what the snakes are hunting us with, and that was my knowledge of the test up until we got up into the trees, I thought that was the best idea. Now that we're in the trees, though, it might not be as necessary. Well, you know, you can always fall out of the tree. No. Not me. I'm oh, okay. too good. Okay, yeah. You guys don't have to worry then. <laughs> okay. Joe's mildly concerned about falling out of a tree. <laughs> mildly. So we can expend our key and then we'll be ahead. What if we expend the tree in or the key into the tree? <gasps> and can we go ahead and uh, bring back on the I can. sound? There Sorry about go. that. No problem. It turns the tree into a beacon. And then we can have a key tree. <gasps> What if we all expend our key into one tree? What if we all decided to pronounce it Kai randomly and never addressed it? That's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> we have been calling it Kai this entire time. Use your Kai. <laughs> Use your Kai. 
<laughs> it's like, Juan's gonna die. <laughs> He's like, get me out of this uh, well, we, hellscape. We are technically in the south of this land, right? So we could all just kind of yeah. pronounce it however this we do. Not I'm not please. from Danketsu. I am from the north. <laughs> I am from the mid, the mid, da- the mid Izu. <laughs> the mid Izu. I'm mid-izu? from I'm from Ninja Texas. <laughs> <laughs> from Texas and God Ninja. knows when you live in Texas, there are nine different ways of saying every word. Including Texas. Including Texas. <laughs> but we, we're not going there because we aren't in Texas. We're no, we are in, in the Izu Empire. The triumph, yeah. triumph province. Yeah, the Triumph province. And we will triumph in this test, right, Kyo? That is correct. I think, Chet, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking back on that letter and I really feel like we need to work with everybody. I feel like we all need to get to the end together. The letter said that that we were paired up to play off of our own strengths and weaknesses. This is true. So I think that we just need to help each other pass and let them worry about themselves and and they because they need to learn how but to. But we help. were also paired up in this group. Hey yeah. guys, do you see arrows? See. You have some with you. Remember, yeah, I said you have your entire kits and everything on you. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he oh. was asking. Oh, do you sorry. see arrows? Not do you have arrows? <laughs> wow, join the group, Gio. <laughs> see <some> yeah. arrows. <laughs> <laughs> that would be helpful. Yeah, yeah oh, no. I see some. Wait, I can't hear me again. John, did you mess something up? No. Maybe it is the cable. Maybe it is the cable. <laughs> Maybe it's this cable back here. Um. Oh no! You transistorized it. Okay. Hold go. on. Okay. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. We will get that worked out next. What time. is happening? We've never had this issue before. What is going no. on? Every week, it's a new. It's a new trial. It's because of my electric personality shorting out the mic. Oh please! I blame danger, the cat. danger, it's high voltage. Yes. This is the cat. It's always a cat. Uh. Yeah. No. 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 Um. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, we see arrows. Okay. Where are yours pointing? In the northeasterly direction. Just point. Okay, same direction. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, I don't. I, I uh, pull out my compass and remember, I don't have a compass. <laughs> oh, that's I a- do get a, uh, a plus one karma when we get lost. So keep an eye out, guys, if we get lost. Didn't. Weren't you handed a map at one point? Yes. Do I still have that map, or did I give it back to? You still have Akakage the map. Kage Sensei. Yes. Oh. You're good at looking at things. This is true. I'm going to look at the map and look in the general direction of northeast of where we are. Is there a landmark or something like that? <clears throat> uh, you believe looking at the map that. Perhaps to the northeast is the quickest route out of the swamp, looking at the size and directions and okay. overall topography. Uh, you can't really see it from where you are in the trees, but you are pretty certain, okay, that looks to be that direction. Okay. But at the same time, looking up through the trees, you're also beginning to see flashes of light coming from the northeast, uh, possibly thunder in the distance. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, When the Emperor used the power of the spirits to cause it to (laughs) rain and storm. You begin to hear gusts of wind rustling through the trees. And you know that a storm will be coming this way. Probably be best to move as quickly as possible. Okay. All right. And you said you said that the canopy was th- pretty thick, so yeah. the the tree branches are pretty interlaced. Yes. From tree to tree. Yes. So, to safely traverse this from above, I will say that each team will need to make three tests. Each test will require a moderate success, so two successes. Okay. But you're very certain that when you get the edge, uh, the border of this swamp it is probably going to be entering into the actual rainstorm okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off and uh 
How are y'all going to traverse up here? What is the method that you're going to do it? We'll go ahead and start off with you two for so, Takumi and Ranta. Since since the branches are pretty interlaced, do we just kind of like ninja dash across the trees? I think we have a pretty good shot of going straight across. Yeah. Um, and like <clears throat> we'll like just use each other as a safety anchor. So if one of us slips and falls, we use the other person. We rely on the other person to like yank us back up. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think we're booking it. We're we're just gonna run from branch to branch in that direction. Okay. And um, our our guy and Camu about the same level as us by this point. Uh, probably y'all are. Pro- I mean, you all see each other in the trees at okay. that same relative distance from the ground. Yes. Okay. Then I just look over to guy and Camu and I'm like, we're going this way. Less thinking, more running. <clears throat> oh, also Kyo and Chat. Yeah, we're going this way, but you already know that. Okay. I'm gonna say we don't run. Yeah, we were careful. Yeah. Careful boys. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right. We lock. We do the. We do the forearm grab and we just kind of hop from branch to branch. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is going to be also an interesting introduction of a mechanic. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. So oh, yeah. part of also <laughs> the Ninja Crusade is that uh, as you're doing tests, technically you're not supposed to do the same test more than once. Now, I'm going to allow it this time, but I'm going to also say in the future, it, when you're doing tests, you're only supposed to do it one at a time. If you fail and you redo a test, you're at a negative one. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to say if you fail a test this time, each one's going to be a different travel mechanic more so. All right? So could we alter what, like, so for, like, we failed the first test and we're like, okay. So alter a skill. Yeah, we alter Try the skill in approach. order to recover. Exactly. Okay. So otherwise, the way this game works is that, you know, being a narrative style, you weren't supposed to do, I mean, if you failed the first time, why is it going to get better the second time? Right. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so uh, who wants to go first? Who wants to be? Who wants to make the first test first? I mean, yeah, I guess us since yeah. we we were, we're you're, wanting to you're run. You're running. Ahead. We're yeah. we're going careful. Let's go All for right. It. <clears throat> um. So, let's see here. I guess it's going to be. So this is going to be a team test. So one does one, one does the other. Yes. Okay. Um, this is a physical test. I'm still going athletics, I think. Okay. I think I'll contribute speed to this. Yeah. You want to use karma for this? Mm. I have a speed of two. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to use karma, I think that's fine. Sure. I'm going to grab me a yep. karma. Good idea. Oofa doofa. Oofa doofa. That's a zero. That is also zero. Okay. So technically, you just failed. <laughs> technically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't know if that's but, a technical failure. I will say that if you want to spend. How, how much karma do you all have left over there? Three. 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 You want to spend two karma. As you both fall out of the trees, your chain catches on a branch and you don't fall away the ground, but you both are now dangling from your chain. So, here's an interesting thing then. Um, because of my river, uh, I get plus one karma when instincts save me, but leaves the group in peril. So, would Do I buy... count as the group? Well, <laughs> you you may not count as the entirety of the group, but you're you're not the majority of it. So, would by me helping both myself and ran, uh, Ronto. Ranto, Ronto recover, uh, would that in some way, shape, or form put the rest of the group in a bad spot? Mm, technically, no. I mean, okay. not, not the way this works. Okay. So, uh, but overall, so what are what exactly are you doing? I mean, uh, at this point, I, I've, I've given you an out. Otherwise, your characters are falling to the ground. You misjudged some branches. You were moving too quickly. Maybe a gust of wind. 
Do you want to take the karma so we're not losing I, complete I, ground? I, I think we have to take the karma. All Sorry, right, guys. So two karma gone. There's the oh, other yeah, one here's this one back. All right. We need to cr- create some sort of Rube Goldberg machine that we can just drop our karma <laughs> dice into and it goes right into your little cup there. Oh. Such a Rube. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you're both now dangling, uh, and you'll probably spend some time climbing <coughs> back up. Sure. Uh, what about you, Guy? What are you and Camu doing? That one well. So I am thinking that... Uh, Maybe with either his athletics or his survival, uh, I can use my intuition to kind of um, keep an eye out for good-sized trees that should be able to support both our weights and have branches that are close enough for a four-legged animal to kind of find steady purchase on. All right. Okay. I'll, It'll go, ahead, I'll go ahead and roll for oh, yeah, this sure. time. If anybody, do you want to double check me? Because uh, yeah, that's s- those are good numbers. Those are good <gasps> numbers. So that is four successes, two. two. Nice. So that will give you a boost. Ooh, it's, um, uh, so I will say, uh, if you want to spend the boost, uh, you can either use it to go ahead and give yourself another karma. So for for the team, mm-hmm. that's one way you could use that boost. Or, I will also say that you managed to get over there. And with Camus' help, you manage to save their team. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. With Camus' help, you, you are dangling, and you start to feel yourselves being pulled back up, and you notice that uh, Camo has grabbed onto the uh, chain with Guy, and they are pulling you back up onto the branches. Hey, that's my boy. And Guy. <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> Don't mind me. Have your glasses gone swirly yet? <laughs> Almost there. They're Almost. more of just kind of dangling. He needs like they're a just little like windshield wipers. I was going to say, has the temperature changed make it made them fog? Yeah, they're just fog. No. <laughs> All, right. All right. So. So right. our final team, what are you doing? I think I'm going to roll for this. I think. Discipl- it's either. Mm-hmm. Intuition is way better. So okay. like if I could intuit what branches to yeah. step on. And if I could use perception to perceive a good path. I will let that I'll let that ride. Uh, intuition is described as being uh, instinct or gut feelings. Okay. So yeah. No. Alright. So I have I have three dice I'm I rolling. I have three that I'm rolling. So are you comfortable with that or do you want to use our last karma and just, just... Hope for the best that we might get it back? You know what? Let's just go with let's, it. Let's go. Let's do our three. Let's do our six. Yeah, it's a good thing we did our Ooh. six. I got four. Oh, wow. Okay, good, because I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> I had one that would like just kept spinning, and it, it was like one. So I have a one, two, and a three. One. I got two tens and a five. Th- there's not critical failures in this, right? Only if you don't get a success, we right? We just rolled double zeros. Like That's about as critical failure as you get. Well, zeros oh. are good. Oh, no. Well, double like ones. We had no successes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double yeah. fails. Yep. Right this moment, I'm not going to work with that portion. So we're oh, continuing the game as we, as we work through this. All right. That was the first test. Second test, you continue on. And it begins to get dark outside. In my, su- in my supply bag, mm-hmm. I would have had, like, matches or something to start a... Uh, yeah. And I'm sure we can form some sort of, before it gets too wet, we can form some sort of uh, torch. I yeah. have some cloth, because I work in a textile shop. But, so. do, but do we have, like, when the rain eventually does come, how are we <laughs> going to keep the torch lit? I got, like, oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, can, oil and water. Can I say that water. I have that? Yeah, I had oil. And My favorite incubus song. for your character. <laughs> I've got so. oil. Oil and water. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm gonna we're gonna like break off like a, a decently sized stick, and we're gonna wrap the end in some type of like fabric. The King Nord- Nerd Lord just gave us a fun fact: uh, we could use Guy as a torch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he no. did say Guy is very you fun. You light up my life. You're so mean to Guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you for inviting your friends to our Twitch stream, Twan. You're welcome. I <laughs> hate them. They're going to suffer. No, <laughs> no. They're rude as they. All right. right. So, so the, for the second test, we make a torch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I already used perception. I'm going to so, use crafts. So you wouldn't let me use that a second time, right? No, I'm going to allow... Uh, this time I'm allowing it. I'm well, explaining be, that okay. with I failures. Perception yeah. crafts. Crafts. Yeah. 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 So crafts. It's a completely I different test. Tonight. Okay. Craft. I, will, I will use perception <laughs> in order to find, like, a good, sturdy... Mm-hmm. Branch that that taking it away won't ruin us. All right. <laughs> yeah. Lord Quaggan is making a plea to <laughs> that he gets spared in Twan's in Twan's revenge. <laughs> so you said crafts and perception is what we're doing. Yep. My plans to oh, one success. Only. Wow. One. Nothing. No. Mm. no, I'm not. These dice are bad. <laughs> Can All can right. this can this be the one where one success works? Can this be that kind of test? I mean, we're just <laughs> making a torch. Torch and torch and is easy in a forest. You know, swamp. It has gotten dark, and you're not exactly certain of the way right this moment. Hmm. Let's see what uh, the other teams do, though. So Takumi. Does that mean we get a karma because we're lost? Uh, because you know, technically with your character's my torch, ability... My torch didn't yeah, work. Yeah, <coughs> technically with your character's background, you get a karma. Guys, this is okay. It's okay, Chad. It's okay. I know the way. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Do you have any ideas? Because my idea let us down a bum path. Well, I mean, we could try again just to be a little bit more cautious. Or, um, let's see. We've got... Camu, we've got Guy here with us. Mm-hmm. Um, Guy, do you want to go first with uh, Ke- with uh, Camu? Well, since we are technically kind of hanging out together at this particular time, there's no reason why we can't uh, work together cross pair um, and in order to kind of get. It's like nighttime, right? Yeah, it's starting to get dark. So um, if anyone. I'm thinking maybe have uh, I'm decent at crafting. Maybe one of you guys have a uh, survival higher than my two. I have survival too. I, I have a crafting of four on a survival of one. So oh. I'm kind of in your boat too. Well, you have a craft of four, huh? I have a craft of four. I think. Um, well, there we go. Let's go ahead and like maybe craft survival something to kind of get us through the night. In the trees where we are right now? I mean, we can't hurt. Maybe, like, create some netting with some vineage and, uh, uh, yeah, just yeah. prevent us from falling, uh, down. Oh, yeah. To just like so some, like a, like a tether. Like so you're suggesting just waiting it bunkering out. Bunkering down. I think so. Well. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. I don't I, know. Unless we want to just uh, uh, keep on going as fast as we can through this night, we're I, heading. I, I don't know if the if the test is to just get there or if the test is to survive getting there. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, the <laughs> surviving getting there kind mm-hmm. of implies is kind of implied, but uh, given the conversation we had last night, I don't think they're going to let us die if they can help it. I think we probably need to accomplish something is my guess um what if you make a rope we could make a rope (laughs) um also oh i did have one thought so the rain is starting to be upon us but the main rain is further out right (laughs) chad has had an idea (laughs) kyo's like oh crap we're doing it wrong (laughs) doing what wrong we need to forge our own path we're going the way we're told oh do you share that with everybody say that I say that to Kyo. So it's better that we're lost. We need to forge our own path. Well, which way do we need to forge it to? It, it doesn't matter. We pick a path and go. Okay. Well, maybe we could craft Back some to them. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. If we could craft some to protection the from the rain, like you guys were suggesting. Um, animals have a pretty good sense for weather, right? Camu could potentially 
guide us in the direction of the stronger weather and we could at least make some progress before we decide we're just unable to move further. Well, actually, I would like to do something real quick before we mm -hmm. uh, proceed on with that. Um, just by myself, not with any help from uh, Camu, can I um, do maybe either a combination of either intuition, knowledge, or perception to, s to see if I can't glean from this how urgent it uh, this test is? Sure, sure. Right. What would, yeah. um, like, what would you think would... Uh, well, this is a mental test, so you aren't going to be on any penalties. Okay. Uh, but this would be uh, intuition, maybe perception, or knowledge. Okay. Uh, and so I think I will take that knowledge and intuition for seven dice. And so that is going to be five, su five successes. Jeez. All right. Uh, moderate test, so you will get a boost. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that with that boost, you glean everything that they knew about that letter. Sure. But you also now know that uh, there is no... You, you get the feeling that there is no reward for speed in this okay. test. Um, and do I get any sense that there's any other hidden um, knowledge in the, let the letter itself? or Not so much, no. All right, then. So... I think we can safely say that we've exhausted this for as much as we can, but we also now know that we don't need to necessarily rush to um, to our objective. So we okay. can just kind of take it a little slower, make sure that we do it right instead of do it fast. Okay. So are you all going to wait for the storm to pass? Or are you going to wait through the night? What are you going to do? Well, I think if if the storm hasn't, fully set upon us yet that we should at least use this opportunity to get a little bit closer to the edge of the swamp. Sure. That way we're further away from potential snake problems. Mm -hmm. It would also give us fall. a better vantage so we could kind of see further out into what's ahead. Yeah. So um, in order to move forward at a more careful pace um, I could use perception in order to make sure that we are moving on a safer, less slick path through the branches. Okay. Perception and... Um, if he's using perception... Hmm. I guess... You could use athletics or fortitude. Yeah, I was about to say, I think athletics is still my best bet. Alright. But I'll rely on his judgment a bit more. Alright. So perception athletics? Yes. That, all right, let's go for it. Uh, two successes. Two successes. <coughs> all right. So you do succeed and uh, manage to guide your team safely through the branches further. Guy, what are you going to be doing with uh, Camu? I'd also like to suggest if it's okay that we should go at a pace where Guy and Camu don't get left behind. Yes. We'll move with them. <coughs> are you going to call out for the rest of the team as well? Do we know where the other two are? You've only heard them in the distance. We can we can give a shout out at All the right. very least. And we'll say... Are y'all going to be responding to that? Are y'all going to try and follow that? I don't <coughs> what, what do you think of, of Chet's revelation? I do think... Forging our own path is probably part of it. I just don't know if we should get too far away from our friends. We're over this way, guys! I mean, does it already sound like we're kind of heading in a separate direction from them? Not too much yet. We, we were ahead of them earlier. Yeah, so we're just ahead of them. Yeah. So. But, so for Guy and uh, Camu, I mean, he's going to be using either survival or athletics, which is going to be at... You know, his rate of three. Yeah. All right, then. <clears throat> because it's getting darker, I think um, I would like to throw in my perception in order to kind of um, help of his ability to traverse through the night. Okay. Or at least at dusk. All right. I've got one success over here. Three. All right. So and you power. do... Yeah. Y'all are managing to continue through safely. After that first roll, you know, anything. I know, right? 
All right. I'm good with going our own way. All right. I. I but wanna, I would like to stay in earshot. I want to try something then. I want to try to listen for and see through the rain, mm-hmm. through the snakes, through the ambient sound of the swamp, to see if I can single out and hear uh, our teachers. Okay. See if I can hear them either moving or breathing or just like waiting. That being said, as you're traveling, mm-hmm. it's very much on the edge of your perception. It is dark out here. There is rain. But with what little ambient light there is occasionally from the flash of the lightning, all of you looking down from the trees, you finally do see one of those snakes. And it is immense in size. You see it as it slithers through the swamp, and you watch as it seems to circle one of the trees that one of you are in, and it starts to go up and try to encircle one of the trees, going up about five feet off the ground, before it slips back down and into the water. And so you notice that, yeah, it's unable to climb the tree. And so you continue on. Yes, the this, this storm has worsened. There's lightning now. There is rain. You are on the final leg of this journey through the forest. Uh, y'all want to try and perceive where you can hear your teacher. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I want to try to do. So perception. Um, and actually, you can do this test by yourself because this is not a physical test. Te- okay. te- oh, yeah. Technically. Then, we're not teamworking this. Then yeah. could, I also, could I do like perception intuition? Yeah. All right. Uh, I still will require a physical test to complete this journey. Yep. But, yeah. Okay. So, I do get a plus one to perception uh, for hearing. Okay. So, I'm going to take that. And then, can I consider, um, in this instance, Mm -hmm. because they have given us this test, and uh, in Chet's mind, this test is kind of us against them, can I get my plus one intuition... To predict the my my enemy's movements, you know, technically, uh, technically for this situation, I will allow it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's why I said why I explained it the way I did. Hey, <laughs> uh, good explanation. Throw in another one. Cool. I'll get to use eight dice. Let's let's Whoa. hope all of and them now, roll. Now, before you one. roll, I'm going to say that this is a tough challenge. Okay. So, so three three four? successes. Three. Okay. <laughs> That is three successes. <laughs> exactly. Nice. There is something that you hear. You're, you, you concentrate. And you're like, okay, not the rain, not the snakes, not nature, not the lightning. And you're, this, you're, you're focusing down to something. And you think that you hear in the distance the sound of a horse neighing. All right, I will kyo. I hear a horse from that direction, and I point in the correct direction. Okay. Let's go to it. Then let's go. Let's let's okay. follow, let's forge our own path and follow the horse. <laughs> All your, right. Your idioms they get weirder the older you get. I've never understood. These. On this, uh, for the rest of the group, a bull hey, is more hey, useful than who, who are you calling an idiom? <laughs> for the rest of the group Gosh, are you going to uh, stay put uh, and wait for the wait for it to get light outside or are you going to wait for the storm to subside or are you going to push on um, I was still in the thought of getting to the edge of the forest and then holding down from there so we could at least see what's up ahead yeah so does does what we previously did get us to at least the edge of the forest so that we can see out into wherever it is that we are generally headed yeah, it, I, I'm gonna, it's going to take one more physical test to get out. Okay. Uh, Guy, are you going to continue to follow them? Um, I would rather follow them, yes, and not be by myself with a puppy in the middle of a, for- <laughs> of a snake those forest. He's a good so, boy. Go. All right. Let's see here. All right. Um, I, guess, I guess perception and athletics again. Yeah, that's what we're good at. Yeah. Ooh, uh, it's kind of cocked. Roll Should I? Again? Yeah, roll it again. Yeah. I do have two eights and oh, another eight, so three successes. <laughs> Zero successes. 
All right, so you're going to be able to make through to through the forest thanks to her help. Uh, Guy and and Camu. So what are you going to be doing for this last portion? Um, let's go back to intuition again to kind of um, try and quick up the uh, quicken the the speed, the pace, and uh, keep up with them since they were making it through qu pretty quickly. Okay. Unfortunately, Camu will not be giving any successes. Three. Hey, there you go, though. There you go. All right. And your team breaches the forest. What are y'all doing? We're following that horse. We're following the horse. All right. All right. Um. So, um, we're still up in the trees, though, right? Yes. yes. So I can I can use my perception to continue to. Uh, track the horse okay if and you if you want to use something that you're that you're okay at and we'll use karma because we have it true um can I maybe hmm I am thinking so you're using perception yeah which we've already done an intuition perception role which I know you said we could again. Um, that one would be a good roll for me. Um, or... So you, uh, so I can use my perception to track the horse. You use your intuition to, to, to forge again, the path. Yeah, forge a path. Or I could go ahead and do survival and I'll just go low on it. It'd only be one die roll. However you, however you feel. And I mean, we'll if we're take, already we'll going to use a karma. karma. And then, um, but yeah, he's going to be listening for the horse and... Perceiving that direction, and then I am going to um, do my best with survival to find a good, make sure we're not heading into anything more dangerous, keep an eye out for snakes and stuff like that. Did I describe it well enough that I get a bonus die? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> please, help me, please. <laughs> okay, oh, I, zero. I got two. I got zero. You make your way to the edge of the forest. Okay. And as you look down in the rain and in the lightning, the light illuminates and you see an Imperial soldier on horseback. <gasps> Let's kill him and take his stuff. A head <laughs> pokes out between the two of you. And you see Ayame. And she holds oh. up a finger to her lips. Oh. Shh. Holy crap. Teacher. Sensei. Ayame Sensei. <laughs> that was horrible. You scared the crap out of me. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at you. This is the she, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's the hot one. <laughs> And she oh, hi, baby. jumps out of the branches. And you see in the air as she is f just flying 10, 15 feet out into the air, you see strands of wire that were previously invisible drifting behind her. And as she starts to, s to hit a point, it's like she hits the edge of her, uh, of her jump. The wires pull taunt. And you see the rip, the rider ripped from his saddle and dragged back into the swamp. And she lands on the ground, and all you hear now are the thrashing sounds of the soldier in water. He's probably fine. Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Come on. We follow. Yeah, let's... Yeah. If we're at the edge of the forest, <laughs> oh can gosh, we also okay? see that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going. We're going to wait. Ne uh, forge, our, forge our own path. <laughs> Following the teacher. Let's steal the horse. Oh, hey, yeah. You steal a horse. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll, I'll follow her, but God. I'm taking the horse. All of you. If I, if I can. Exit the forest. <laughs> her name is Clip Clop. And no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and we're going to wrap up here because uh, other shows are beginning to start. Uh, but you exit the edge of the forest and all of you begin to meet back up. You're about a, a 100, 200 yards away from each other, but you leave the forest 
and go out onto a little bit of a plateau. And there you see the wagon with the horses and Akakage. Very good. You all did very well to make it to this point. We're going to be headed back to the village now, and uh, we'll be making our decision very soon which one of you will begin your progression. And I think that this is an excellent point for us to go ahead and pause. Are we all there? Or yes. Okay. They, they, you but we all came there at different groups, from two right? Different because groups, yeah. okay, because we were with Ayami. Okay. Yeah. We found the imperial soldier. And so, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. So I think this is a great point for us to go ahead and uh, pause this session, pause and this uh, we will be returning in two weeks. I really hope everybody enjoyed themselves and. Uh, we will be unveiling in the future. We have some uh, goals and some ways where we're going to be able to include you, the viewers, in the show in the future, which will include sure. uh, uh, subscriptions. We are now Twitch part, uh, not Twitch partners, affiliates. but we are affiliates, so we can actually yeah, take the subscriptions now. Twitch Prime. Remember, if yeah. you if you already pay for Twitch Prime, you or yeah. I'm sorry, if you already pay for Amazon Prime. You do have a free monthly Twitch subscription in there for Twitch Prime yep. that um, is included in that cost. Um, we would love to see some some more subscribers yeah. um, or I, even just we want to work up some sort of rewards yeah. tier for uh, bits and stuff like yeah. that. I will say that for every uh, five Twitch subscribers rounding up, I will give the team an extra karma dice at the beginning of a session. Yay. And so uh, I know right this moment that we already should be at five, nearing ten. Uh, that means that next session, y'all will already have two karma dice in the pool. Nice. Cool. So, nice. Awesome. Remember that because uh, we'll forget. Yeah. But so <laughs> we're going to start that up. We will also start ways for y'all to interact Sweet. as well. Uh, and we will unveil that at the next show. Fantastic. All right. Well, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this evening. We're going to go ahead and roll credits. Thank you all so much for tuning in. See you Bye. 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 Bye.